on occasion. A semi-final encounter here at the Euros, and the nerves must surely be jangling. Who will come out on top? Stay tuned as we'll have all the action live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to our coverage of the semi-final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me with microphone in hand is Stuart Robson. Excitement levels are off the charts, it must be said. It's Portugal and they take on Turkey. Well, semi-finals can be very nervous affairs, Derek, but this has the making of an absolute classic. Two excellent teams, some great players and two thoughtful coaches. This should be a very interesting tactical battle, I think. Uh, plays with a positional sense that is second to none. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the lineup for Turkey. Well, in this 4 5 1, they're packing their midfield, but the two wide players will almost play as out and out wingers. However, it's important they do get runners from central areas to support the centre forward. That's going to be key. Molly's well, a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, if they get any free kicks around the edge of the penalty area today, Derek, he is so dangerous. I know he's a good all-round player, but his ability at set plays could be the deciding factor today in what could be a tight game. Well, they know they need to stop him. Can Ihan. Real defensive resilience. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Nuno Menge. Pepe and Palinha with it Vitor Ferreira Leal now moving the ball impressively here able to get his body in the way Chalanoru Meat Muldur. Khan Ihan. Muldur. Well, strong play here. Abdul Kerim Badakchi. Well, I couldn't quite find his teammate. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now, what can he do from this excellent position? Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Kukchu. And here's Chalanoru. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. A really top-notch piece of defending. Vitor Ferreira. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Yeah. 
And it wasn't superb distribution by the keeper, that we can say. Silva. Ruben Dias. Portugal pushing forward with options available. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Bruno Fernandes has it. Vitor Ferreira. Ronaldo. Leal. Back to Ronaldo. And the keeper there to deal with it. And the short option preferred. Leal. Now with Fernandes. And a very good challenge. So deflection. And it will be a throw-in. Bruno Fernandes has it. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And Portugal will get the throw-in. Ronaldo Silva. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And strong play here. Fernandes. And it's teed up for Ronaldo. It's a perfect challenge. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Doing well to keep possession, but just like that, possession changes hands. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, tremendous save! Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. And short it is. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Portugal being afforded too much space here. Makes the move to the inside. Bernardo Silva. Has eyes for goal. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Yildiz likes to run with the ball at his feet a glorious chance oh and it goes the opening goal in this semi-final a long way from being decided but it could be telling well just look at this again the speed of counter-attack is so impressive and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Pepe. Bruno Fernandes has it. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match.
well as they get the ball rolling again interesting to see how the second half pans out opportunity in the wide area but timely defending when it mattered it's one thing to sit deep it's another thing to sit that little bit too deep Bernardo Silva top class defending Ferreira Palinha Bernardo Silva crossing opportunity nicely timed tackle Bardacci Yilmaz Meat Mildur Chalanoru Fine build up as they look to add to their advantage Can he find the right pass? And that's a straightforward stop Silva Cancelo could play it in well can Portugal take advantage of this set piece and the substitution will occur now and the short option preferred Silva Bruno Fernandes he read the situation defensively and did his job can he get them level and getting in the way of that superb defensive play Bruno Fernandes Here's Ronaldo, doing well to win it back, what can they do from here? And they've done it to square the game once again, exhilarating. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Cenk Chosun. Well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Losing possession. Palinha Mensch Here's Ronaldo Crossing possibilities well, The attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out Chalanoru Muldur decisive in the tackle and a throw in here substitution time it is here
Mert Muldur. An example of how to press. Özcan. Cenk Josu. This could be troublesome. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Vitor Ferreira. It's with Ruben Nervous. No, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. And opting for the lenient approach, the referee, rather than cautioning him. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Possession lost. Özcan. Kukchu. A move of promise. Is it going to end with them scoring the winning goal? Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. Just 10 minutes to go. Ferreira. Rafael Leao. Really good challenge. Bardacci. Cadioglu. Chance to play it in. Joao Cancelo. Well, that's common sense refereeing to play advantage. Joao Felix. Oh, there it is! And surely we've witnessed the goal that will take them through to the final. Astonishing scenes here. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Khan Ihan. Cenk Chosun. Into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Joao Cancelo. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Who can he pick out? Oh, great defending. Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. And now it's all over, and Portugal have made it through to the final here at the Euros. Well, it was far from easy at times. They'll certainly know they've been in a match today, but these are the sort of games you have to get through if you want to win silverware. They've done that, and now they can turn their attention to that final. What a game that should be. Well, a spectacular contribution from Joao Felix. Full of substance. Stuart, I wonder how you would assess his performance. Well, he's the match winner, and deservedly so. He was outstanding today. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of form.